Hello, Lieutenant Henry um, from the LSPD. You guys got an inmate down there by the name of Sandriana King? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I've, I've got a document signed and it's on the way to prison. Um, she's going to need transfer down to Mission Row PD. Yeah. Nope, I've, so I've signed the um, transportation forms for her to be transported from LSPD, de LSPD detectives. Um, they'll come and pick her up and they'll bring her down to Mission Row and then they'll bring her back. Um, we just got to ask her some questions. Um, yeah. All right, thank you. All right. So I've called the Bowling Book Penitentiary because I want to have some words with Sandriana. What is her name? Sandriana? I can't remember. Anyway, I've got to have some words with her about Katie and Juliana. So can I get dressed and then I'm going to head down to Mission Row myself. Alright guys, so we're at Mission Row, um, King isn't quite here yet, so we'll go and get set up before the interrogation. Detective Roberts? I'm um, Detective, it's Lieutenant Henry. How far away are you? Oh, I'm just about to pick up the, uh, the subject. You made it up there okay? Yeah. You gonna be right to transfer, transport her back? Yes. Alright, just watch her. Remember that she is in there for, a, you know, felony type crime, so just be careful. Yeah. Make sure she's cuffed at all times. Yep, will do. Alright, ring me if you have any issues. Alright, bye. Bye. Hello, this is Scott. Scott, it's Shannon. Um, I've got detectives going to pick up Miss King and bring her back to Mission Row for questioning to find out a bit more about what's going on between the girls. So um, if you want, you can't be in the interrogation room, but you can sit behind the black screen if you want. All right, um, I'm just finishing up some paperwork at the station, so I'll be sure to head down there. All right, um, I got a detective just up at Bolingbrook now picking her up, so um, the ETA is probably about 30 minutes to get back down here. All right. See ya. See ya. All right. Detective Roberts is picking up King and bringing her here for questioning. So we'll go and do some paperwork and yeah, hopefully they won't be too long. Tenant Henry. Hey, it's me, Detective Roberts. I'm just nearly at Mission Row. I'm gonna go in through the back if you wanna meet us there. All right, we'll do. All right. Um, they're nearly uh, here. They'll be coming through the back door. All right, I'm making my way down there. Okay, see ya. Do you want to go through the door, Shannon? Jesus. Here she is! Okay, follow me. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright, I brought the uh, subject. This is her. She's, uh... 
Go to the mouthy one. Alright, interrogation room three. Go fuck yourself. Alright. Let's go. She's not very happy. She wasn't last time I talked to her. Nope. Well, someone will need to speak with you. Go fuck yourself. Well, I'd suggest good cop, She's bad cop, but I don't think good cop's gonna work on her. I don't think so. So, hmm. Um, if you want to lose your gun, we can. I'll go in, and then you can come in. Mitchell, under no circumstances do you come in. Miss King. Who the fuck are you? You want to ask me politely who am I? Who am I? No, not really. No, not really. Okay, I'm Lieutenant Henry with the LSPD. Um, the reason you're here is we have some questions to ask you. Okay. Uh -huh. Why couldn't you just ask me where I was? Um, because, you know, we felt that you might like a, a trip out of the prison, get some fresh air, some sun, you know, smell the trees. I get enough sun. Oh, do you? This is Detective Roberts, okay, she'll be joining us for the interview. Interview started 1826, Lieutenant Henry and Detective Roberts are with Miss King. So Miss King, do you do you want me to call you Miss King, or is there another name you want me to call you? Oh, you're fine. Fine, okay. So, I'm going to show you a couple of photos, okay? And I want you to tell me if you know them, okay? Do you know either of these two? Maybe. Maybe. Miss King, how long are you in jail for? How long was I? Or how long am I? How long are you in jail for? As long as I'm ever gonna know this planet. Detective Roberts, how long is she in jail for? Uh, that's a good question. I'll have to bring that file up. Hmm. My guess is a long time, okay. So if you help me out and you be it's... honest, I might be able to help you out and get you some benefits of in the prison, you know, some more yard time, more TV time or something. You know, make your life easier. Oof. Yeah, that's not a... I hear that's not a good record. Hmm. Yeah, it's... Do you really want to be in prison your whole life? Because... Cause... I'm very stuck here, Because my guess Don't is... Try me. My guess is the way you're clenching your fists and getting all nervous is you do know the two girls and, you know... You're trying to act all tough here, but it's not really working for you. So why don't you go ahead and just tell me what's going... You know, you know them. I do that. I mean, why wouldn't you? I 
I already know you know them. I've what? seen photos with you with them, so why don't you go ahead and tell me? Then why are you asking me if you already know your own answer? Because I want to hear it from you. I want to know what's going on. I want to hear your side before I ask the girls. Like they're going to talk to you? You never know. Say that. I already know the girls don't want nothing to do with you. They don't like you. No one does. No. I'm used to that, honey. All right. Mm. It's very apparent. Yeah, parent of the year award that goes to this one. Oh yeah. And you think you could do anything better? I don't know. I I'm not a parent. So, you're the girl's mothers, right? Was. This one is for a while. I mean, you gave birth to them and you raised them? I raised one. Why not the other one? That one was a mistake. What, having the kids was a mistake, or having one of those kids was a mistake? Just one of them. Mm -hmm. And so Katie was Katie was the mistake? Why don't you say that she was? I mean, from, from what my investigation tells me, you like Juliana a lot more than you like Katie. Yeah, what's exactly hinting at that? What? What's hitting it? What's hitting in it? Hmm? Said so your investigations telling you that? What part of it? Um, that's. What indications? Ma'am, I'm the one asking the questions. You you just get to answer them. Doesn't mean I can't ask them right back. I mean, you can ask all the questions in the world that you want. It doesn't mean you're going to get an answer. So why do I have to give you an answer? So why so why is one of the kids a mistake? Let's put in perspective here. Sorry, what was that? Here. I'll put it this way. One's better than the other. Why? One listened, one did not. They're kids. <laughs> I, I see what the issue is here. One of them is too much like you, because you don't listen either. And that really pisses you off. Uh, I can tell you who pisses me off. Hmm. Go ahead and tell me. Yeah, who the fuck am I looking at? Yeah, I, I already saw that coming. You don't like anyone who has a bit of authority, do you? Do I? You like being the one in charge? Well, you think you're in charge, but you're not. I'm like standing any closer is gonna make a difference. I don't know. You tell me. What are you trying to do? I'm not trying to do anything. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to sit here. You know. Right? So when you say one of the girls listens and one of the girls doesn't listen, what do you mean by doesn't listen? You know, she doesn't eat the, the food you give her or she doesn't listen to what you say or she goes and runs away and does crimes or something like what do you mean she doesn't listen doesn't follow tasks oh, yeah, and what kind of tasks would these be tasks hmm come on what kind of tasks I mean you're already in jail you can't go back to jail I mean it can't really get any worse for you so you might as well just tell me everything you've got nothing to lose no nah. But you'd have stuff to gain, and I'd rather not let you do that. What stuff would I have to gain? I mean, can't you technically give them closure? How do you want to do that? Why would I tell the kids what, you've, what you're saying? I mean, from what I'm hearing right now coming out of your mouth, you're quite a nasty, rude bitch, so... 
They're not I gonna want to hear. Wanna hear. <laughs> You're no different. Mm. True. So level with me then. I'm a bitch and you're a bitch, so why don't you just tell me? Work tasks. What, like doing the dishes? No. Dirty work. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. What kind of dirty work? Clearly it's on your records. Well, it's on your records, really. I guess the two of them heard that question quite a while back. I guess I didn't put that down. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll be back, detective. Um, I'm just gonna. I need to do a little bit more digging into her. We need to. We need to find a weakness. Yeah. She's one of those tough shells, but she's gooey on the inside. Once you find her pressure point, she'll cry. Yeah, we just need to find what makes her tick. I have a feeling it's probably mummy or daddy. One of them didn't cuddle her enough. Probably. Considering the fact the way she treats her girls, I mean... Yeah, I have a feeling it was probably, um... It was probably dad. Um, file here, both her, both her parents are deceased, uh, suspected murder victims from nine years ago. How old would that make her? Hmm. Girls, what, seven? What was that? I mean, it would make... Juliana, like, age seven when her parents... No, I'm talking about her parents, the one that's, um, Sandrina... How do you say her name? Sandrina? Sandrina or something? Yeah, I'm talking about no, her Sandrina. parents. They were killed nine years ago. Oh, yeah, to make, um, Juliana and that, yeah, about seven, yeah, make, eight years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just doing a Google search on that stuff. I'm gonna quickly log into the MDT on another tab real quick. Yeah, I got her up on this other tab on the tablet. Yeah, Sandrina King. Hmm. It says she was born in 1990, hmm. which would what, make her 30 years old. Oh, yeah. So you watch, she had the twins, suspected twins, when she was what, 15? 14? Yeah, 15 Four, or 14. Yeah, 14 15. 15. That's, oh. That's that's a really young age to have kids. Yeah. Anything on her parents? Yeah, there's a bit of a background here. I've got a narcotics report here. Uh, father was a heavy drinker. Oh. Mother was into narcotics. Uh, there was multiple domestic disturbance calls of the father. Abusing both her mother and her while being intoxicated. Um, also, parents were murdered nine years ago, which would have made her 21. I'm just seeing if there's a report of any suspects they had in mind, anyone they questioned. Yeah. She's got a huge record though, just for herself. Like she's got multiple inactive warrants that were, she had on her, multiple arrests, reports, suspended license. Pretty sure oh, she boy. escaped from jail once too. Apparently she lives in Mirror Park too, 441 Nicola Place. Isn't that where you live? Like right across the street. Hmm. Interesting. Just gotta find out what makes it tick. Okay, I'm just looking up real quick. Oh, hang on. I got something here. Oh, I think I found something. 
Yeah, you read it out to me then. I will just look at it. Yeah, it seems that at the time the investigation may have led to her possibly being a suspect in that murder. But as well as Thomas King and Carolyn Hansen. I I know Thomas King, but not that Carolyn Hansen. Yeah, King, what is her ex-husband? Or well, are they still married? They must be. They got like unless she kept his maiden name. Yeah. Looks like she kept his name. Are they divorced? Do you know, or are they still together? I have no clue. Actually, I'm assuming they're divorced. If he was on a Tinder date the other week when we picked him up. Maybe that's I mean, it, though. Has anyone met this Carl and Hanson? No, I'll I can switch her up though. Maybe. Yeah, I'll look her up as well. If she was a suspect in that murder case, though, what if that is what's gonna break her? Friend of hers or something? Hey, uh, you won't have it. You won't believe who. I mean, Mitchell, you won't believe who this Carl and Hanson is. Probably bumped into her once or twice before. I know I have. Who is she? Purple gang. Oh, the um... bowlers. Yeah, sounds familiar. I think I heard a couple reports that she shot at officers once. Yeah, she lives down there in Grove. She's, she's got a pretty hefty record as well. Let's just move in this side room because we'll let us sweat it out a bit more. She's got a huge record as well. Hold on, how does how does she know her though? Like, how does King know um, yeah. Hanson? I mean, it sounded like she was getting the, her daughters to do some illegal stuff. So maybe she's somehow one of the gangs down there on Davis. Hang on, I'm just gonna try and do a bit more background, see if I can figure out how she knows her and sh her knows her, you know? Just in case she didn't see that. You know, wasn't father saying about regretting doing something? Yeah, I just found an interesting report here from ballistics and some evidence. Uh, there was three suspects, obviously them. Um, all three of their prints were found at the scene. Uh, some of them were smudged though, they got partials. Two shells uh, from a firearm that was later found in Grove Street, which is currently sitting in evidence, but there's nothing else found at the scene, just the dead bodies. Which ballistics have yeah, matched the bullets the inside the victims to the gun that was found on Grove. Yeah, plus the fingerprints wouldn't go very far if they're relatives. It's circumstantial. Yeah, that does. Doesn't really even put them in the house. I mean, they could have put them at, there at any point. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna try and find could out how... Been all three of them. What was that? But it could have been all three of them, because I know Thomas seemed broken up about some event. He did something he regretted, and that could be it right there. Well, she, Miss King here, could have... Got one of them to kill her parents. True. She could have. How old is Mr. King? Like, what is their age difference? He is 36. So six years so maybe difference. Her parents didn't approve of him getting her pregnant. Or maybe, like or maybe she cried she to him and said that you know, Daddy heard her and blah 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 and made her life a hell and he, you know, wanted to do the right thing and make sure she was safe for the rest of her life and put an end to it. Hey, I got a file here from the prison. They were in the prison together. Hanson and King were in the prison together. Oh, wow. 
Uh, they, that, uh, that was prior to her or first after escape. After she got. It wasn't the escapes recent, because. Isn't that how Katie ended up in the hospital was the last time she escaped? Yeah. Okay, I think we've got some more questions here that we can try and break her down a little bit. See how we go. You wanna you wanna do a bit of the talking this time? Sure. She might open up to you oh. more. Probably not though. Now what do you want? Well... We do have a few questions here. Can you tell us what happened to your parents? Yeah, they were killed. Is that so? By who? Beats me. Beats you? You don't really seem very torn up about it. Yeah. That was years ago. Well, are you happy that they're dead? Were mommy and daddy not wasn't nice? that close. No, wasn't that close. Good thing so they're dead. not gonna affect me as much. Did I fucking say that? I mean, you're not really saying much. You don't seem very angry. You don't seem to really care that they're dead, that someone hurt them. The killer's never been found. I mean, if it was my parents that were Again. killed, I'd be doing everything I possibly could to get them. I'd be very annoyed yeah, and angry. That was... That was years ago. I never connected with them. Why do you look so nervous? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You wanna know what I think? I think Daddy used to be really no, abusive, no. and Dad used to hurt you and Mummy a lot. And it really pissed you off, and there was nothing you could do because you were too young and mum never stood up for you. And it continued as you got older, and then you met Thomas King, and you, you know, you let it all out to him, you let him know everything. And what? Tom went and killed your family for you, you know, and said you'd be safe for the rest of your life? He didn't do anything, so shut up. Oh, so who did? Yeah. Who did do something? She got very angry. Really know. No. All I know, he didn't do it. Maybe it was Carl and Hanson. It. Maybe it was Carl and... Yeah. Maybe it was, you know, besties. Maybe, maybe I got it mixed up. Maybe maybe you got, did the whole sub story and said it to Thomas, you did it to her, and she killed them for you. Yeah, maybe. I, think, I never set anyone up to kill them. Well, I mean, the evidence says different. Your fingerprints are there, her fingerprints are there. Maybe you both went there and... Oh shit, my prince would have been around. I freaking had to live there for years of my life. Well, you tell me Did who you think... you think about that one yet? You tell me who you think killed your parents. How would I know? I didn't get involved with any of their stupid shit. Hmm. See, this is what this is also what I think, and you can you can correct me if I'm wrong, but... You know, Daddy, Daddy messed you up real bad, and you, you, you resent him for that, and that's why you're happy he's dead. But unfortunately, you ended up like him, and you did the same thing to your kids. Everything that you fought so hard to be different, you end up being exactly the same as him. The same messed up dropout. Maybe even worse, actually. Yeah. You got every psychotic little trait he had, didn't you? That's why you're so angry. You just like daddy. Maybe it was a double murder. Maybe they, you know, they did it together. Maybe, maybe mum was the target. She never stood up for her. She never stood up to him. You know, Possibly. there's probably a lot of resentment there towards mum. And daddy was just there. Is that, is that the problem, Sandrina? It was mum? Is that why you don't like your own kids? Because you can't protect them just like she couldn't protect you? It 
What's the fucking point of that question? You're very angry. Yeah. I thought you said you weren't close to them. Man, you know what pisses me off is when people start making accusations. I didn't. That's what pisses me off. Mm. You're uh. Well, I mean, you, so you say. That I mean, you could tell nobody, me. Well, you know. you're saying that I'm making accusations. I'm just throwing out theories and stuff. I mean, you have not tried to correct me or stop me or tell me anything otherwise. You just sit there all angry, clutching your fists, getting all angry. You tell me what happened. Yeah. Yeah, tell us. You expect me to know who killed him? Tell me why you hate your own kids. Tell me anything. And what good is it gonna do? I mean, it helps to talk to people. You'll feel so much better. Nah, I'd rather stay in the freaking prison and beat the living shit out of people. <laughs> oh, stubborn like that. Yeah, just like daddy. Yeah, it's me, except they're not kids. Well, that makes it okay, does it, to beat I think up innocent people? it was like a people? fight club. Yeah. Okay. I want to say they're want... innocent. Okay. Because like so, you wanted to make them feel the way you felt when daddy pounded on your mommy <laughs> and mommy didn't defend you, is that it? Is that why you hurt the girl? Why the fuck do you keep calling them daddy and mommy? Oh, I remember, they're not mommy she and daddy to her, she hated her parents, they're just pieces oh, of shit in her true. life. Mother and father. So, so Sandrina, is Katie and Juliana's twin sisters? Go ahead and answer, like, at least be honest with that and just acknowledge that they're twins. Yeah, they are. So why do you hate them so much? You already got your answer, though. What, because one doesn't do as she's told? Yeah, and then the second one follows. Oh, uh, I'm starting to see what's going on here. You never did as you were told, you you know, as you were told as a kid, did you? 50-50. What, what did daddy used to do to you when you didn't do as you were told? Hmm? What, he whip you with the belt? Power cord? Chase you around the house? Maybe he threw bottles at you. Lock you up in the cupboard? What, what made your, your you know, your childhood so horrible? Why don't you just do your own fucking research? Well, I would go and ask your parents, but you know, they're dead because someone had them murdered. It's a little hard to talk to dead people. But we are doing the research. We're getting it straight from the source. Yeah, well, it's probably easier if you just do your research. Get your answers so much quicker. Uh, maybe I'll ring up, you know, hell and see what they have to say, detective. Oh, yeah. Why don't you just go visit seven. them? Oh, why don't I go visit them? That's a good one! Now you'll end up there first. Oh, true. Fine by me. So why did you try and kill Katie? I said I was the one to try and do it. She did. Really? What what makes a mother want to like hurt her child so bad? Like what could she possibly do? Maybe she saw something she wasn't supposed to see. Or maybe she was just a good kid and you know mum doesn't like that. Her, she wants her kids to be just like her. She was never a good kid. Oh, is that right? I think she was a good kid. I think she used to do as she was told and she used to follow orders and then she started realizing that the things that you wanted her to do weren't the correct, you know, they weren't legal and they weren't the right thing to do. And she started doing the opposite of what you wanted and you resented yeah, and her for that. Yeah, how would she know what's legal, what's not? I mean, kids can determine what's right and wrong. Kids aren't dumb. Can they when they were raised a certain way? I still don't get, though, why you'd want to kill your own daughter. Like, what pushes a person to that extreme? What does? I don't know, you tell me. I don't want to kill, you know, other people or my kids or someone else's kids. Well, you said you, you didn't have kids. You weren't a 
You weren't a parent. I'm not a parent, but if I had kids, I wouldn't want to kill them. them. Would you want to kill your kids, Detective, if you had kids? No, of course not. No, well, clearly you grew up on the, uh, the right side of the fence. So you know the difference. Excuse you? So, what made you want to kill your own daughter so bad? The questions aren't going away. Why don't you just go ask her? Yeah, why don't you just go ask her? Clearly you have contact. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Maybe I've heard it all from her and I want to hear it from you. Nah, I doubt they told you the entire story. I guess you'll never know. No, I will. I doubt you will either. Interview suspended at 2024. You're not gonna get what you want. You know what's strange? How old were the girls at the time of the supposed murder? Uh, what did we say? Seven or eight? Yep. Where were they at the time of the murder? Yeah, we got smudges, we got fingerprints of her. I mean, I know it's all circumstantial, I know, I know, I know. But we got fingerprints of them. I know she used to live there and stuff, but if she was 21 I, and she was getting abused by dad, I doubt she was living at home when she was 21, right? Yeah. Prince, prints of when she was a kid would have degraded. There's no way that those prints would be from when she was a child. I know it's all circumstantial, but... Those prints had to have been somewhat fresh. And where were the kids when this all went down? Exactly. Maybe one of them saw something. Is there a file on is there a file on where the kids were at this time? Uh, I'm not sure. I can try looking at the old detective space. She was definitely we definitely hit a nerve though with the whole parents though, because she did not like that. Yeah. Well, apparently she didn't care, then she started clenching her fists when we started speculating who murdered. Yes, she didn't like the speculation part. I mean, they were just theories. She knows something. Yeah. I'm not feeling she was there. She's definitely a lot more like her father than she wants to admit, though. Oh, yeah. Dad wore off on her real well. You got any ideas, officer? No, I'm just worried about what the oh, kids want to see. Oh, oh, oh. That's the key. You find something there? Hey, I'm going to send this over to your tablet. Suspecting? Yeah. You see that? Oh, boy, yeah. No I wonder. I had a big suspicion that was it. No wonder the kids are so messed up. Yeah. I got a detective report here. Katie was inside the house at the time of the murder and Juliana was out playing in the front yard. It's very possible that one of them could have seen something. Well, Katie probably would have heard something if she was inside. Juliana, she may have seen or heard something. She may not have she though, she was out in the that. yard. This is what yeah. it's in the file anyway. Whether, it, I mean, we'd have to re-interview the girls. Yeah. Thing is, Someone like that at that age, are they even going to remember any of it? Um, I mean, yeah, they could do. They might. Depends on how hard they tried to block it as well, it? and depends on other yeah. things that have happened. Which, I mean, could have blocked, they could have blocked memories. I, I mean, considering they didn't even know they were sisters, there's a decent chance of that. I don't know if I want to talk to the girls about this. I think they've already been through enough, but at the same time we have two... We have a double murder that hasn't even solved. And they could be the... They could close the investigation. What other, motive, what other motive do you have for killing your child just because they don't listen? I don't think that's enough for warrant murder. I think it's because Katie saw I the murder. I think she saw something. I think Katie saw yep, the murder. I agree. And I think King in there did... Yep. I think she committed it. 
probably. I mean, why else would you want to kill your kids so badly? And Katie must have remembered something, because, I mean, if she had all these blocked memories like Juliana and they don't remember even that they're sisters, I mean, there's no reason to go after them, but she obviously remembered something, and she's now blocking it. Or she's just hiding it from everyone and she knows. Wait, which one of them was in the hospital for a while? Katie. She had a GSW. She was shot. From who? Who shot her? I haven't been able to prove sure it. it was... What was that? King in there. Yeah, I believe it's King, but I haven't. I don't believe the case was shot. Lack of evidence. And... Hmm. Because I think King escaped prison for like a couple days, and during that time was when Katie was rushed to the hospital with the GSW. I think we I think we send her back to Bolingbrook. We interview the girls, give it a day or two, let everything just settle down, get all our evidence and theories aligned, and we bring in the girls well, and just talk to the father before the girls. Yeah, that's a good idea. Talk to yeah. Thomas. Yeah. We might have to do that tomorrow this, though, because what Cameron it's twenty alive, right? twenty forty three, according to my watch. So yeah, we can get him transferred up here tomorrow. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Um, let's get her transported back to Bolingbrook. Um, we'll interview him yeah. tomorrow, and we'll try and get with the girls at least tomorrow or the day after or something. Yeah. What about this Carolyn? Do we want to interview her? Her prints were at the scene. I mean, it wouldn't hurt probably to interview her either, but we're probably going to get as much of a stone wall as we have with King here. We'll probably get it with her as oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. I think Thomas is the weaker link, to be honest. He That's true. he shows signs of guilt, remorse. Um, he seems like the one who's going to more likely open up, to be honest. Anyway, from what I've met of him, anyway. Well, at least we got good ground. All right, let's get rid of her. I'll call Bolingbrook right now, and I'll let him know that she's getting transported back up. Um... And we'll start typing up these reports. All right. Hi, Lieutenant Henry LSPD. Um, inmate Sandrina King, she's going to be getting transported back up to you guys now. They'll be leaving at 21... Yeah, 2100. They'll be in route back to Bolingbrook. ETA will probably be about 30 minutes, so they should be on arrival about 2130, 2140-ish. Yeah. Yeah, my detective has the papers. Alright. No worries, thanks. Lieutenant Henry. Hey, it's Detective Roberts. Yeah. Uh, she kind of just told me something a little alarming. She said to tell me to tell you guys to go check for both of them and see if they'll both be there by night time. I don't know what that means. Hang on, she said check I for the something. girls. Yeah, as if something's gonna happen to one of them. Hang on, say that again slower, exactly everything she just said. She said, if I were you, I'd tell the guardians to watch for the girls before night time. I gotta go. That was Roberts. King just told her to tell the guardians to go and make sure the girls are okay by night time. Oh, really? Where's Juliana? Mm, I think she's at home still. Katie wasn't at home when we were there. I'm gonna head home. Um, I'm gonna do the reports when I get there. I'm, I'm not gonna leave home tonight. I'm gonna sign my gun out. Alright, I'm gonna rush home then. Sounds like a bit of a threat to me. Yeah, no kidding. But, uh, I mean, she's in prison, Thomas is in prison, and Kayleen's in prison. I mean, it sounds like she's just trying to bluff, but I could be wrong, you never know. Yeah. Oh no, I locked my car. Alright guys, so we're gonna head home, check on Katie. Because that's somewhat of a threat. So we just need to make sure she's okay. Mm. 
Sarah. Hello. Are you home? Uh, not at the moment, no, but I'm headed that way. Was Katie home when you left? No. Okay, if you see her, just just make sure she's safe. There was a threat made towards her and Juliana. Oh, God. Was it the mother? Yeah. So just keep your eyes out and just look oh. out for anything suspicious. Okay, I'll be home soon. Stay safe. Alright, be careful. I'm just getting home now. Okay, bye. Katie? 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 Katie, are you there? Fuck. Hey. Scott. Have you found Juliana? I mean, uh, I just got home. I just got home and Katie's not here. I've searched the whole entire house. I know, I'm just getting home, so I am not sure yet. Alright, just let me know then. Yeah, will do. Katie! This is Katie's favorite spot just down here. Fuck. Sarah. Hello. She's she's not here. She's still not there. I know I'm probably just overreacting, but I'm I'm worried. Have you tried calling her? No, I'll try that now. Just, just, I'm just stressing. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta go, I gotta try and ring her. Okay. Katie? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? Um, not far from the house. Okay, you need to come straight home. Did she come home? No. No. Okay. I thought I heard a bike, but I didn't see her. Just, just double check. Yeah. I, I know you're scared and I know I've worked out a little bit. I hear bit. movement. I Where? hear movement. Oh my god. Kitty. Yeah? Oh, thank god you're okay. What is this for? I was just worried, what is okay? For? I was worried and I missed you, okay? Why? What? We miss you. What the heck is going on? This is not. No, this is not right. Okay. It's been a rough night. I'll tell you. Your mother made a threat to a detective about you and Juliana. Okay. So we just want to make sure you were okay. And we just wanted to make sure we, we knew where you were, okay? We are sorry that we, you know, we stressed you out and made you worried. Okay. Wait. What do you mean she made a threat to the detective? She made a suggestion. She's not out again, is she? No, she's not out. We had to... Some detectives in, interrogated her and stuff, and she made a, a remark that one of you might have gone missing tonight or something, and to make sure we knew where you were. Okay, she's definitely in jail. She cannot hurt you, okay? Everything is going to be fine.
Okay. Who else are you referring to? What was that? Who else were you referring to? You didn't just say just me. What do you mean? That's literally what I mean. You didn't just say you. You put an S on that. You and Juliana, we had to make sure you were both okay. Why is she being targeted now? Uh, I think I need wine. So, why is she a target? You're both targets. A couple days. You're both targets because. You guys are twins. It's not how I wanted to tell you, but you deserve to know. You guys are sisters. It doesn't change anything. You and Juliana can still be friends. I mean, this, it shouldn't push you apart, it should make you closer. Are you okay, Kitty? Kitty, are you okay? Okay. That's not good. Maybe let's have her sit down. Okay. Come on, Katie. Come on, no, I'll no, help no, you. No, 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 don't, don't touch me. Oh god, here we go. Let's just take a seat. No, don't, don't touch me. Katie, you need to talk to us. We, we know you're upset, okay, and this was a shock, but... Okay, wait, uh, uh, she's gonna pass out. She's probably gonna pass out. Oh, great. Here we go. She's showing the signs. Katie, come on, let, let's go sit down. I'll help you. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Katie, you're gonna hurt yourself. Was that, that water? Was that her passing out? Just, just stay back. Do you want some water or food or anything? No, no just don't, don't come near me. Katie, there's something else I need to tell you. Katie. Katie. What? What, what, do you, what do you want? For your own safety, and Juliana's safety, and everyone else's safety, you can't leave this house, okay? Just until we figure out exactly what's going on, okay?
Okay. We don't know. We don't know who your mother's friends with, and if she's got any more accomplices out there, we don't know that. Okay, so you need to stay in here. Okay. I know it's a lot to take in, but you are going to be okay. Sarah. We, we need to let her breathe. She needs to absorb everything and take it all in. Yeah. It's just, for some people, that's classic symptoms of their psychologically distressed and they might pass out. Well, I don't know about you, but I won't be sleeping tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna take some time off from work too. 